Today we're going to talk about Lyme disease. It's summertime, everyone wants to be outdoors, but the problem is there's a very high rate of Lyme disease infections, especially in certain parts of the United States. And unfortunately it can lead to heart problems, neurologic problems, joint problems, and we need to be very cognizant of what it is and how to prevent ourselves from getting it. Lyme disease is transmitted by the black-legged deer tick, Borrelia burgdorferi, and it becomes very prevalent at this time of the year. What are some things that the CDC suggests that we do to protect ourselves? The CDC suggests wearing long sleeves, long pants, tucking your pants inside your socks, which is kind of a weird look, but you can do it if you want. Also, spraying your body with an insect repellent that has 20% DEET. In addition, I think spraying your clothes before wearing them can further potentiate the beneficial effects of um, insect repellents. What's really important is after exposure to grassy areas, wooded areas, is to do a thorough examination of the body, especially in warm, moist areas, on the scalp, behind the ears, behind the knees. Um, the Lyme ticks also like to go where the waistbands are and along the bra strap. If you find a tick, it's important not to panic. It's important to use a fine tweezer and get as close as possible to the surface of the skin and pull up in a very gentle motion. It's really important for you not to twist. If you twist it, uh, bits of the tick can break off and those remaining pieces in the skin can still transmit the disease. Once the tick is successfully removed, you should wash the area with warm soapy water, wash your hands and monitor the area. Don't be too alarmed. If you found the tick under 24 hours of attachment, there's a very, very low likelihood of the disease being transmitted to humans. However, you should still be uh, vigilant if you develop a rash. It's called the erythema chronica migrans rash, which has a central clear spot and there's reddish pigmentation around it. That may be a sign that you have the infection and need to be treated. If you develop fever, fatigue, headaches, these are also reasons why you should contact your physician uh, for potential evaluation of Lyme disease. I have seen Lyme arthritis where patients come in with swollen knees and I have to remove tons and tons of fluid from it. We've seen lots of Lyme disease related neurologic problems. It can lead to cardiovascular problems. So be mindful. It's easy. Do your skin checks and hopefully you can mitigate your risk of contracting Lyme disease this season.